went back to the workbench. Seats are cut, bows are faced, and to just to get a visual, a visual, I think this right here will show up really well. Put a little layout die right gender on the uh, face of that valve. We're going to do both of them. Just a show and tell. Put your little layout die right there on that one. Also on this one. This right here will tell us the where, where the seat lays in the face of this valve. The exhaust valve goes down here. Put that down in there. And, and let's give it some turns. A couple, three or four turns. The intake valve goes up here. Let's give it some turns. Okay, take this one out. See where that... Uh, can we get a visual on that? I hope so. The bright spot there is is the is where this seat was at in the layout die, and it's it's from here downward. That's 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 what you want right here. If it's too far up to this edge up here, then you know just lay it aside and build an oversized valve. We're going to clean that off. The the intake valve. Oh, it's even better. The shiny line going around through there is pretty close to center line of that valve face. It's pretty good. Let's clean that off, and we're going to put a little compound in there to seat these. These should be really clean, and if you have noticed, we have not used any oil. No oil whatsoever has been used in this in this operation yet. No. Uh, Okay, now we've cleaned them seats there with a little thinner, very clean. To to seat these valves, and you know it's not something that I recommend, but you know just some people just does it because. And the the valve grinding compound. Uh, I was just just reading on this can here. That's a clover Loctite clover. That's that's the new uh, the Loctite brand clover brand. But that's a fine, and the grit's 280. That's that's not all that fine. And this one, it's uh it's the it's a it's the clover brand, but it's it's on Fail Pro. So, and if you look at that, and it don't give you no grind on it, it just says uh, fine. And if you look at that, it's really fine. Really, really fine. I'd say that's a thousand or something. What, we, what we're going to do is just apply this right here. Not a lot. Just cover that valve face right there. We're not grinding nothing away. If you, if you grind something away, then you have produced a... Void a low place, and 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 if you if you're going by the book, well, supposedly the head and the valve is supposed to heat at the same expansion rate, but you know maybe there's something the valve adjustments or something other where it does not, and if it doesn't, if you have seated this too deep, then when one of them expands at a different rate than the other one, then it won't match no more. But the correct way to see the valve is, and this is not this is not a how-to, this is just the way I do it. It's in the book. Uh, spraying, light duty spraying. And on these valves here, I did drill two pivot holes in the top. And this this thing right here, oh, we'll get a long distance shot on that. But y'all see, that's a real old valve grinder. And when you turn this thing, y'all see that go back and forth. It never makes a full revolution. And this particular one, it always moves somewhere else. 
you know, it don't it don't go back and forth in the same time. I don't know how they did that, but uh, it's it's just a wonder. Uh, you you position this on on the valve face with them two things right there down in that hole right there, and then you give it a see when you go like that. Okay, you only make a couple. You only make a couple of revolutions, and then you let go of it, and that spring will push it up. So you uh, put them in that hole, a couple things, and then the spring will push up, and it will always be in a different position. Okay, that's enough. Uh, uh, let's, let's look at it. Let's just take it out of there and look at it. And a little thinner on the face right there. All oh, these will be cleaned meticulously later. But can y'all see that? Oh, I wish you could. Y'all see that that gray area around that valve? It's just enough to take the shine away and and have a good continuous contact all the way around that's all it's required if you do any more than that right there then you have done a bad seating job it's I'm not I, that's not I'm not saying that it's in the book it, we're finished with that uh, I will wash all of these up wash them all let's do that other one right there while we over here you know no no need to uh, just do a half a job they put your little compound on there and uh, very little Super fine compound. If you have to do any more than this right here, and if you remember now, this valve has not made a full revolution in that seat as of yet. It's something to do. Well, it's in the book. Just all I'm going to say is look it up. Don't forget the spring, the bump spring. Put that in there. Put that in there. And affix this, y'all see that? And affix that thing into the into the valve and give it a couple more time and it's off. Okay, now you see what I did there? I was fidgeting it around a little bit there behind the camera there, but here on site I would have done had that done. Let's get that up out of there, clean it off and see what we got. Let's get that spring up out of there. Clean the clean the bow face and the seat. Like I say, these will be cleaned really, really good. Washed in some solvent before we put it together. Okay. Okay, this is even better than the other one. Can 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 y'all see that gray area? This one this one was well let's compare them. If it's taking a little too long, you will be doing this there in your shop on your workbench if you're going to rebuild a head. But see that? This one is, is pretty much direct in the center of that valve right there. It, it, this one will be able to be seated two two more times. This one, is a, the, the valve is a little bit small, but it will easily be able to be seated a couple more times. So... Oh yeah, it was good. It was okay. Exhaust. And I will when I when I do put these when I wash these up, put them together. I will put some oil on the stem right here, just some light oil. Put a little bit of the valve grinding compound onto the seat area right there. Don't take a lot. I put the spring on yonder. This is the exhaust valve. Put it right down in that hole there. And uh, if I may add, if you don't have one of these rigs right here, one of these uh, back and forth of things, uh, a good choice is one of these uh, uh, suction cup things right here. And the way you use that is you go backwards and forwards like this right here, and it never makes a full turn. Several different models of that. Uh, you know, it, they they really cheap, and and uh, but the secret, the the beauty of it is you 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 can oscillate. You know, uh, make it go uh, 
whatever that's called right there, you don't make a full circle. Don't go all that away. And then if that's stuck to your valve, you can you can lift it up off the seat occasionally. This is another version, if I may show it to you, the little thing, this would have been one that had the two holes in it like I built these, would have been right there, and you put that down on there, and then you just, you, you, you just go back, you don't never make a full turn. Several different versions of that. The, the, the one that we're working with here today is, uh, is this type. Put that right down in there like that right there. And just make, uh, 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 just, y'all see that going around like that? And when you, it'll come up off the seat, and then you, you, you go back and forth, and that's enough. Oh, that's going to be ample enough right there. Let's get that up out of there. Spring and all, and look at it. Oh, yeah. I had the black layout die on this one right there, but that's really nice. Uniform all the way around. That that's this right here is what you're trying to achieve. And and and, and this right here, you can you can get to this point with this type of valve grinding uh, deal. It works really good. Just uh, put him on there, and then suck him on the top like that, and go back and forth. Works really good. That's about all I can say about this valve grinding.